first thing that uh, separates a rhythm guitar from a lead guitar, number one, is that uh, the rhythm guitar is usually played in the lower register. That's a song by the legend Thomas Mapfumo. If you look at my guitar, I'm playing at the far end on my left hand side. That's the lower register. My notes are lower. That's usually where the rhythm guitar plays. So on this particular song, the lead guitar will be playing somewhere up there and the rhythm guitar will be playing somewhere down there. And um, usually the rhythm guitar sits on the, on the chord progression. So in most cases, if you watch um, rhythm guitarists play, their hands will be shaped like they are holding chords. <laughs> get my hands if you understand um, chords and chord progressions you can see that uh, they are shaped like I'm holding chords but they'll be playing um, guitar melodies and then another thing that's, uh, that separates the rhythm guitar from the lead guitar is that it plays a constant melody it usually plays the same thing throughout the song whether the vocalist is singing or not sometimes of course here and there we've got some songs where the rhythm guitar can change the melody midway but uh, in most cases uh, the rhythm guitar doesn't change mm -hmm. there's a part of the song where the bass guitar and the lead guitar they stop playing and leave one guitar alone that guitar that remains alone is the rhythm guitar. When it comes to music like Oliver Ntukudzi's music, Oliver Ntukudzi was a rhythm guitarist, but he played his guitar on an acoustic guitar. It is, it is. Now coming to the lead guitar, in Shona, we say it's the guitar no shaura. Because African music is mostly characterized by call and response. So the call is what we call kushaura in Shona. The way the guitar plays, we also call it kushaura. It's occupying the same space as the lead vocals. That's why uh, usually the lead guitar and the lead vocals, they do not compete. And uh, number two, the lead guitar is very melodic. So the lead guitar will be playing melodies, sometimes melodies on the lower register, sometimes melodies on the higher register, and sometimes we use what we call intervals, like interval of a third, which is very much used in Sungura and Rumba, interval of a sixth, interval of a fourth. That is mainly used in Bira music and Jit music. But those I know the, 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 that's complicated stuff. But uh, speaking in layman terms, the main difference is that uh, the rhythm guitar will be playing a constant melody uh, on the lower register and the lead guitar will be all over the bar. In Shona, we can say Rene Mararo. And uh, the rhythm guitar and Kamisa Musha Ruku lower register. Then speaking of Western music, uh, the concepts are almost the same because uh, the rhythm guitar is part of the rhythm section and it's one that plays the chords and so forth. But um, speaking in terms of uh, genres like reggae music, because I know that reggae music is very big in Zimbabwe, there's a, that guitar, some call it the skunk, in Zimbabwe we call it machop. That guitar, that one is a rhythm guitar. Uh, the lead guitar will be playing what are known as leaks and riffs. Those little melodic phrases, but the difference between a leak and a riff is that um, a riff is more permanent to a song. It's something that you can quote with the guitar and the ripper song you cut. If it's like that, it's not a leak anymore. It's now called a riff. If you look at songs like, um, for example, Oliver Mtukuzi's song, Shanda, where he goes. That one, I think it started off as a leak. 
and then uh, all of them could see Eddie's voice. <laughs> Because it became memorable, it became part of the song, uh, it now turned into a riff. So those are some of the elements of a lead guitar. Other characteristics include uh, soloing. I think we know what soloing is. So I hope I answered you well. Thank you. Monolio Studio, the harmony of quality and professionalism.